great catch more chargers so we fish pretty much every day all summer long so as it rolls into derby time a lot of the fish will be resident blackmouth fish and to catch them we always prefer a cut plug herring in the winter months you can't use them in the summer just due to all the dogfish winter months we like to fish cut plug herring slow and deep right on the bottom and one thing you don't want to forget is the toothpick <laughs> <laughs> trust me it helps yeah yeah so you want to maintain a good spin with that toothpick it makes a big difference so. and and normally we will hook it up and run and there's um, a lot of ways to hook on a cut plug herring my preference is to have both hooks on the same side of the bait so I'll, I'll usually hook one that way and getting through the scales oftentimes a little bit of a challenge but anyway you don't want to mess them up if you can help but keep them nice and slick and shiny um, some some good uh, bait brine is extremely helpful to keep your bait nice and tough um, tuck it in and probably the secret to this bait to make it fish is the toothpick toothpick poke right through the skin and then basically lays right under the skin and take the guts out and yeah and, <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> and actually pull the guts out of it this is uh, usually you can just grab a hold of them and just snake them right out of there and get the rest of that out of there it out. Round it okay flat. and then <laughs> round round toothpicks like I say just the toothpick just sticks there with it sticking up here going through the skin I used to always run them right parallel down the spine but I found that if you go through the skin about a quarter inch down and then paralleling down that holds this leading edge of the bait up nice and stiff and straight and that keeps a real nice tight bullet keeps roll the hook from pulling through that yep. bait. Yeah. when they bend out right there your bait's not working yep.